Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy and today I just made a quick video over dyeing that yarn so that y'all could see. Um, it'll be in the podcast too, but this is just the over dyeing of that yarn. So here you go. Okay, so I figured instead of just letting you guys hear me talk about my two skeins of yarn that I was going to over dye, that I would take you along and let you see in the dye pots. Um, I do have coffee here that I'm drinking. It's, I don't know, it's early in the morning. Uh, I have still been working about 80 hours a week, so it's supposed to end this week, but I'm on call to see if I have to go in tomorrow or tonight. Oh my goodness, I'm just, my days are running together. So I do use my gloves, and as you guys know, I use greener shades, dyes. I don't know if you can see that. And I said I was going to over dye this purple. So the first thing that I do is I bring my water up and I preheated this so it shouldn't take that long. But I bring it up to temp and then turn it down to about medium. You just want a rolling boil with these dyes. They're very low temp dyes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, my sinuses are acting up. We still have snow out on the ground. So you don't want a boil boil. You don't want any of that. They're low temp. Um, I just now got my dye stuff here, so I've got stuff everywhere. Um, it doesn't even have a home yet. <laughs> yeah. Lucky me, huh? Okay, so I am going to over dye the blue and the red to make them go together. Um, and I'm using the Greener Shades Amethyst dye. And what I like to do is I like to get like a little half cup of water and and I just take it right out of this so that it all goes and then I'm doing about two skeins it does not take that much this is a fourth of a table or fourth of a teaspoon measuring thing and I just use I don't know if you can see that just maybe an eighth and then I just and yes I want it dark purple because I don't like the color of these so I just mix it all in and you can see it just mixes in not a big deal and then I just burst it in my water the only reason I do that is because I don't want the powder not to dissolve I don't want to clump um, it's never clumped up but this is just how I do it to avoid that so then I'm gonna pour my dye in all right and I rinse off my spoon in my boiling water here and it, like I said it's not boiling it's just a rolling boil it's just where the steam is coming off these are low temp dyes rinse out my cup make sure i've got all my dye out of there um and you kind of can see that there's a little bit of purple still down in there so i'm gonna because i did put quite a lot in for two skeins but i hope it's going to soak all of it up all right there's that in that Yes, I have put my lid back on my dyes because I have spilt these. All right. Now, you guys know I'm, I'm a rule breaker. No, these are not wet. No, I don't care. Um, I have not set the soak, set the twist with a soak yet. But as you know, I shortcut. So my dye water will be exactly what I set my twist with. So I'm going to put these in here one at a time. I have my... I use the same tools all the time for dyeing. I don't want anything, and I don't use them for food or anything. Yes, it's organic and all that stuff, but not what I want in my food. Okay, so it's supposed to be non-toxic and all this. That's great, but I don't want it in my food, so I use the same supplies. There goes the blue one. Here goes the red one. And again, like I said... I haven't set the twist, but this is setting the twist. So and I'm going to push this one down in. And I'm just taking, you don't want to agitate it because it is wool. Um, so I'm just pushing it down into the dye water. And because I put the blue one in first, it's probably going to absorb more, you know, just because it's been sitting in there a couple more minutes. Let me get it all in there. And I like to let it sit for a little bit and I'm still playing with this stove um, just for the fact that it's a new stove it's electric and it's not new it's a new to me stove 
Oh, that's looking pretty. I wish you guys could see. But it will start to soak up the dye. And then I like to let it sit a few minutes and let it do its thing. And then I'll put my vinegar in. Um, these are set with just vinegar. You know, again, they're the greener shades dyes. And I'm going to use for this one about a half a cup. If it doesn't exhaust, I've been known to put a little more in there. So, I'm going to, let me see if I can move you. I'm, this is probably a mistake to take my gloves off, but I'm going to see if I can't get you guys a good um, view. My cord is not undone. Okay. So, let's see if we can get you a good view in the dye pot. There we go. Okay, and you can see that those colors, those are taking the, the purple. They don't, that top one doesn't even look red anymore. It is definitely purple. And the steam is getting my camera. Again, these are low temp dyes, so I don't have to really bring it to a boil. Um, let's see if I can. And I have them tied, it's just finding my ties might be a little bit hard looking to see oh the blue is looking hmm, pretty pink the red really just taking that purple dye so all right it's been sitting there a while I'm just gonna pour my vinegar in there and again don't agitate just push it down you know oh my goodness the red one's doing amazing oh the blue one when I turned it it looked better that's awesome it's more purpley than red um, I might have put some more purple in this I don't know but we'll see all right so I'm just literally gonna turn this off put the lid on it and let it exhaust um, I let it exhaust until the water goes clear. I don't, you know, do a whole lot. That is it. Then um, I'll come back when I get ready to take it out of the pot and you'll get to see the end result. Okay, so we're back. It's literally been five minutes, but I didn't want to leave you guys on hold. I'm going to take this off right here. <coughs> Ooh, this looks good. Okay, so, ooh, I got a little red left in there. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know what dyes, oh, I shouldn't do this with my finger. I probably should have my gloves on. Um, I don't know what dyes were used before, and I'm over dyeing. So keep that in mind. The red, it seems like there's a red hue to the water. It's not bad, but she dyed some with red, so what if she didn't set hers all the way? Just saying. All right. I'm going to pull them out and see what we've got. Kind of like this one. Oops. There we go. All right. So there's that one. And this really is, just to keep the dye from getting on my hands, because I took my gloves off, I'm going to pick it up with this. It's not hot, guys. It's steamy, but it's not hot. The water that's coming out looks almost clear. So I just have a bowl here with a strainer in it. I'm going to do one skein at a time. And yes, tie these. Um, when you're dyeing, you want to make sure you've got probably three or four. I like to do four ties around them. But I don't know if you can see that. It really didn't take as much of the purple. It made it more red, which is okay. At least now I've got something I can use. Grab my other tie here. Yes, I use my fingers. Terrible, terrible. There we go. Okay. And there's that one. It's really purple. Let me. And the water is just barely pink. So, um, again, I don't know if she exhausted all of her red because that doesn't necessarily mean I'm sorry I'm just switching I have 
one metal colander here in that to drain the water out of it. And then when I do two skeins, I use the basket from my salad spinner because these are low temp, so it's not bad, bad. All right, so there's that. And I'm gonna take this one out. And then I'll show you the water. It's not bad. It's just a little pink. And I'm just letting the water drip, run out right over into my little basket and it'll strain and that is really purple this one is um i'll get over by the window here in a minute but i want to show you that <clears throat> we just have a little bit of pink and you really can't see it but it's just barely any pink so these dyes are super super simple that's all there is to it i'm going to actually take this and dump it here for a second rid of that. Alright, so the next thing that I do is I like to oh, and that's fine. I take my uh, yarn here. And like I said, this one's really purple. Okay, I'm going to grab another tie here. And I'm going to line it in my little basket. Now, I know this is a salad spinner, but for me, I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to spin it and then it literally will be ready to dry. And remember, <laughs> I just said the twist. Okay? So, um, yeah. Oops. There we go. Just spin the water out of it. And you can find these little salad spinners. This is not a Tupperware one or anything. It's just one that a friend found and was like, oh, you need another. And my other one was really old. That water. And literally, the water that's coming out of this yarn is clear. So the only thing that I don't know is whether the red that was in the pot was from the other. I don't know if that camera's picking up all that noise or not. Um, the other one. The other red could have been from her dyeing it if she didn't exhaust all of her dye and set it up. So, I now have this beautiful purple thing. It is amazing. I'll take them over in the other uh, area over there. i got to switch out. So, and these are not dry by any means, but they're not soaking wet either. And you'll see when I put them in, they are still dripping water. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or hear it or, but anyway, then I just put it in the salad spinner and off we go. I like the blue better than I like the red. And the truth is, I could actually redo the red to a deeper purple. Okay. Dump the water. It literally is just, you know, you know how a salad spinner works, and it just is spinning the water out. It's kind of like putting your yarn on the spin cycle manually. So. All right. Woo! Going crazy. Make sure you tie it loosely too because if not your dye won't get underneath the ties. So this one's like this and it's not too bad. It's more red but it does have the same purple hue as this one. So I don't know if you can see the lighting in here is not really great but there we go. I'll go hang them and dry them and kind of see that there's the red. Let me see if I can Put them underneath the light just a little bit. Like that. They're not bad. 
they're not the red is not exactly as purple as I wanted it so I may over dye it again and just see how much it'll take absorb of that purple so we will see and you will see them in the podcast okay so I just finished doing these got them out I just have them on a hanger with one of these little things so that it'll dry I don't even have them dry um, but I wanted to see if I could show you the difference this one over here is the blue and this is the red um, they're awfully close I might consider using them together um, trying to get the best view here that's probably as good as it's gonna get um, if I wanted to over dye them again I would do the same process you just reverse what color you put in first so I had put the blue in first if I wanted to do it again I'd put the red in first and it'll even out the colors that blend together does that make sense um, because the blue one of course got a little more dye in the time it took me to put the second one in so if I decided I was going to over dye it again you know just to make them a little bit more uniform um, I would reverse it and put the red in first and then the blue so um, these are actually close enough that I could see myself using them in rows if you twist it together really you can see the difference there but it's not not super a super amount so if I wanted to do something in rows with it I could there you go that's probably as good a shot as I'm gonna get without having major lighting so anyway just wanted to show you there's a good one. Oh, that looks good there you go this is the blue and this is the red so and they're both very purple I know they look blue in there but they're very very purple so <clears throat> this one just has a little bit more red in it of course that's because I started with it red so but nope the only other thing to keep in mind is at some point wool will only soak up so much dye so at some point you're you're gonna get less and less of the dye going into the wool just because it's absorbed all the dye it can so but that's with any cloth any material any anything oh it kind of matches my shirt I could wear it with my shirt it really does the red actually does look, <laughs> look like it matches my shirt all right so i will see y'all in the podcast have a good one